Hi, my name's Adam, and I'm with Direct Action. Uh, this is a start that we made. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the company. I'm going to tell you a little story about our approach to things, because basically this whole project was born from having the same requirement everywhere. We both have uh, you know, two legs, one rifle, and trying to shoot the enemy before someone shoots us. So uh, the solution here came from a requirement from a special mission unit that we are in very close contact with. Uh, it's a Polish unit called Grom. And uh, the way we look at things, we are trying to make the best tools possible for the people that are doing the hardest work ever. Uh, now, the way we look at things, we try to accomplish creating the, perf the best tool, the perfect tool there is. Of course, it's really hard, but at the same time, we're not trying to look at uh, stuff that everyone else made before. We're trying to have a little different approach. And there is a very important part in everything that we do is design process. Design process that we utilize requires a lot of testing and evaluation in-house. The reason why it's important is because the people that are in the units have to focus on their jobs. They have to focus on tactics. They have to focus on fighting the enemy. Our job, at the same time, is putting the same amount of effort and time and having the same approach, but making the gear only. So I'm, I'll try to uh, show you the, um, our approach when we focus on features of our gear. Our idea is to not create pieces of gear, but to create a system. Uh, the system is composed of low bear equipment and made in a special technology, like laser cut uh, molly or laser cut laminate is popular right now. And there are a couple of companies that do that. But it's actually pretty hard in that technology to find the perfect spot. It's always a trade-off. If you want to go lightweight with the equipment, but at the same time, retain as much durability as possible. And if, it, if this thing is made to meet special mission unit requirement, this has to be very durable. So if you go wrong with the technology, it's only going to look cool because it's laser cut and you have the camouflage pattern all over it. Now, our proprietary laminate is made in a way so that it would actually be lighter than Cordura with Molly soon to it. Not every laminate that's outside is going to do that. So the technology, it took us about half a year to just develop the, the laminate. And we we're not the first ones there, but we just took our own approach. Uh, now, if you wouldn't mind, hand it over, OK? Just give it to the people, just to feel the weight, OK? All right, now I'm going to talk a little bit about the features. As I said, it's a system. Why it's a system? Because for the vest, you're not just a plate carrier, but this plate carrier has the interface to mount a chest rig to it. You can attach different types of flaps to it. You can have the kangaroo flap. You can have a couple of types of chest rigs. And at the same time, the systemic perspective that we have, it allows you to attach different chest rigs. Not only ours, but excellent Mayflower chest rigs. The back panel is compatible with Cry AVS system. So again, the user has the choice to configure the vest the way he wants to. This, for example, we follow the, uh, let's say, modern trend with the plate carrier that I just handed out to you. It's plain rapid down and down, very ultralight plate carrier, but you can also configure it with a cutaway system. The reason for that is, again, mission needs. Everything that we do, like, for example, this setup, this setup is made for sniper use. 
And why is it made so that you can actually have this chest rig so far away or connect it like this, put it on the plate carrier, is because when it's close like that, you don't have the ability to attach it further away. It's bothering you on the stalking period. But if you want to, if you need body armor or in urban environment, the sniper just attaches the chest rig together. And in that way, we kind of understand the task that he's up to, and we are filling the need. Uh, as for the cutaway system, what we found out is that it's very useful in the maritime environment. In the maritime environment, people still are looking at, you know, not drowning. But what don't they like, right? They don't like the additional weight burden. They don't like the complexity of the system. And sometimes it's just hard to use. So we thought, OK, so what's the, the real situation where you might need a cutaway system? First, drowning, of course. Second, wounded guy. So if you have a wounded guy and the medic tries to assess the wounded and he needs to cut the vest away, we don't want him to fiddle with a couple of buckles, stuff like that. Same in the water. What you want to have is instant release, like that, OK? Now, the nice feature of our system is you can get rid of the ammo on the wounded guy, but you want to leave him wearing body armor. Now, you don't have to assemble the whole quick release system because it's retrofit, you can simply get rid of the cutaway parts and assemble the plate carrier together without the quick release. And in that way, this is a plate carrier again. So the wounded guy can be wearing body armor again in seconds. So this little demonstration that I made here is just an example of our approach of trying to create the system for a special use. Okay, that'd be it.